Gemini, welcome to your just in time tarot reading. If you're watching this, Gemini, trust that there is a message here for you. If you're a regular, welcome back, Gemini. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Bronya and I'm an intuitive tarot reader. Looking forward to bringing you through this message. All right, Gemini, what have we got? Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Okay, so it's a bit of an energy of maybe it's time to move out of intentions and manifestations and actually take action, right? We can dream and scheme and manifest and do rituals for as long as we want, but at some point we have to match that with earthly action, otherwise it just remains potential. So I drew you a second card and I'm being told here that there is a win-win outcome forecast. Full moon in Libra, like Libra is the nod to justice vibes, right? Something coming back into balance or maybe a wrongdoing being corrected or a decision in your favor that really brings balance here, a win-win outcome. So that is uh, great here. It feels like maybe there's something that you can do to influence this as well. Okay, let's move forward. So Gemini, I'm working with the Divine Initiation Oracle and the Ethereal Alchemist Tarot here today. I will link you to these beauties in case you want to add them to your collection as well. Oh, I've got Nourish Your Soul. I just drew this for Libra as well, which might be significant if you have a Libra placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or, well, not Sun, obviously, because you're, you're a Gemini, um, but you might be dealing with someone who has Libra Sun placement. Okay, so you might also want to check out that reading. Nourish Your Soul. I always feel like this is about something filling your cup. Um, or, you know, almost being like cleansed, a bit of a rebirth energy. So a win-win outcome is forecast that's going to nourish your soul. So I feel like you are receiving in some way. All right, believe and you will receive here, Gemini. Now, what is it that you're wanting to receive? It will be different for all of you being a general collective reading, but I am tuning into the energetic pattern here. All right, we have got the Emperor. Aries energy in the major arcana, number four, and this is about bold moves. And it is the divine masculine energy. So it's saying, okay, yeah, it is time to move into action, to take that leap of faith to take that calculated risk, whatever it may be for you. Win-win outcome forecast. Well, this could be to do with work, career, business, finance with the emperor energy. And the emperor can stand for an authority or a decision maker as well, who might be the one who like, you know, lets you know that you have been successful for an opportunity or gives you some kind of advice here or you know signs you off for something as well i've got both the aries cards the fool and the emperor this is a fresh new start a new beginning where you get to take flight right go to the next level so if it is associated with your work career you could be moving up into uh, leadership team leader manager supervisor that sort of thing win-win outcome is forecast a fresh new start that nourishes your soul but you are being asked to take action so this could be you know if you're in a you know a role at work and you know that there is a, a leadership position opening up i would be going forward and saying to my manager i think i'm a great fit for this because of this 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 and this reason uh if you're wanting to change jobs or you know be selected for something you're being asked to apply if you don't have if you don't create that opening for the universe to bring it to you, you know, then it can't happen, right? So we have to open the doors and then Ace of Wands, you shall receive. This is a new beginning that's full of energy, power, passion, and potential for growth. This is the new opportunity. This is the yes. This is charged. This is fire, fire, fire. So it's action, action, action. It's very, very dynamic here. Okay. So I, I just feel like something is really lined up for you, Four of Pentacles. Um, the Four of Pentacles is really asking you to be in your confidence, your esteem, your power, and be open. Sometimes the Four of Pentacles is known as the miser card, the scarcity card. Oh, I didn't want to put that application in because there was a fee associated with it. Or, you know, um, I just think that I'm not going to stack up in some way. Do it anyway. Do it anyway. The Emperor was number four in the Major Arcana. Now I've got the Four of Pentacles. It's about the groundwork, the research, 
the foundation. Get all of that right or put your energy into it. And that Ace of Wands can be yours. Some kind of fiery opportunity. And the Chariot, one of the biggest victory cards in the tarot. But it's a victory that comes on the back of a very determined, firm decision. And sometimes it can require us to leave a sense of home. Same with the Four of Pentacles. So this is about stepping beyond your comfort zone and owning it and following through and believing in yourself. Remember that believe and you will receive popped out of my mouth when I was reading that card. That's what I'm feeling. It's like you have to believe not only it's possible for you, but that you are capable and that you have got this. This is a win-win outcome, remember. So yeah, the chariot says that you are leveling up. You are moving on, moving forward, you know, to something far greater two of pentacles and i think that there is a decision making process that is happening here and um it feels like it falls in your favor but i am very aware that there is probably something to give up as well you know which is the whole reason why there's this kind of deliberation around it yeah four of cups deliberation around it this is an, an incredible opportunity but you are going to have those thoughts of am i doing the right thing or maybe i should just stay where i am it's more comfortable it's more easy it might feel more stable for you in some way but this is the 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 gateway to something far greater Please do get out of your own way with the Eight of Swords. This is like where we're up in the mind and we're thinking of all the reasons why it won't work out. But that is going to block you, okay? So we're needing to really, you know, drop into the heart and make a decision from that place. Because Page of Wands, I do believe that you are going to get offered whatever this opportunity is. The Page of Wands is the messenger of opportunity, is associated with very, very good news. And you're being asked to be curious to exploring how this can come about for you and really curious. It's going to give you so much growth. And no, it might not necessarily be completely easy for you. And every new opportunity, every new beginning has its challenges as we are learning, we are growing, we are evolving, we are expanding. But this one here feels like it really is made for you. You've been told it's a win-win outcome. If you're thinking, how's this Ace of Wands going to come in? I'm not really looking for anything, but it sounds good. Then have a look. You know, put, put your fishing lines out there because I think that you're really going to hook the big one. Um, and there is something here that can really nourish not only your soul, but your career, your finances, or that next step forward in whatever life area this is for you. So Gemini, I am going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Uh, I will leave the, the link down below to my website if you'd like to follow up with a personal reading. I'm very active on Instagram and TikTok. You'll find the links down below for those. So please do follow along if you'd like different daily content. And there's some other bits and pieces for you to explore there as well. Sending you so much love and magic. Bye for now.